Meyer. I'm a co-founder of Solar Household Energy, a DC-based nonprofit organization that promotes solar cooking. My name is Pat McCardle. I'm a retired diplomat, and I'm on the board of directors of Solar Household Energy, which was founded by Louise, and Solar Cookers International, a group out in California. This is called the Cook It. It was developed by a physicist who then donated the, the design. The design is on the internet at uh, solarcooking.org. You can go and download it. That's what I did in Afghanistan. And as you see, it can cook a pot of beans in four hours, rice in two hours, and chicken in about three hours. And it cooks at around 275 degrees, and all you need is sunshine. In this one, uh, this is a manufactured one. You can order this online. It's about $25. And you see the black pot. And then there's a, an oven cooking bag, like the kind you'd use for making your turkey. You can also use this to pasteurize water, because pasteurization for water is 65 degrees centigrade. It's about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. At pasteurization temperature, the water is safe to drink. And there's a little device, which I can show you, called the water pasteurization indicator a little wa wax thing that can be used over and over again. And in the refugee camps, they can put that in a pot of water, go away and do their work, and come back. And if the wax is melted while they're gone, they know it's safe to drink. There's, there's the wapi. And if you flip it over, Louise, so the wax is on the top, you see you put that in the water. It floats. It, it sort of hit, sits at the bottom and floats. And when that green wax melts, it's a special medical soy wax, melts at uh, 65 degrees centigrade. That tells the, the user of that pot that the water in there is safe to drink. This one, I went yesterday to a dumpster by, behind my neighborhood grocery store and got a big piece of cardboard. And then what I used for this one was a, uh, some mylar, like there's a, a clothes thing there. It's marathon mylar, mylar. But, you can also, but you can also use aluminum foil. And I just cut out the design, which as I say is on the internet, and uh, glued it on. I got this pot yesterday, which wasn't too sunny. I got it up to 250 degrees in about 30 minutes. Now this device here, you see, I've, uh, we're experimenting with other ways to keep the heat in. The plastic bag that I showed you on the other one, it, it works very well, but of course it's not durable. It lasts for about 30 days and then it starts getting torn and the women have to use something else. So this is a little, I, I'm using uh, plastic here that's used in, um, in uh, boats. They use this for uh, the windows in some boats. So I got a piece from my brother who does this sort of thing in a coat hanger. And I just jury rigged this and I tested it yesterday, as I said, and I got it up to 250 degrees. It's called a rocket stove because it cooks with tiny twigs and it it actually sucks the air in and, and shoots the you get a flame coming up here right out of here and you just set your pot right on top so with a few twigs you can actually get a pot boiling in about five minutes and there are various there are other ways to make this you can make it with bricks you can make it with other things but it's basically a flue that pulls the air in it uses a few twigs and then it directs all the air up it gets so hot that it burns the smoke so there's no smoke Solar Household Energy developed that because they were working in, uh, not in parts of the world where there are refugees who are really desperate, but in other parts of the world where people need this technology, but they weren't really attracted to something quite as primitive as the cardboard and the foil. So they, they got uh, a grant and they worked with the Florida Solar Florida Solar Research Center to develop the the aluminum folds up like a piece of origami into a little flat plate, which you can just put away. And then instead of having the cooking pot, you have a black, pot, a black bowl inside. And then the, the Corningware glass surrounds it, and that's what keeps the heat in. So this one also gets up to, to about 275. It cooks just like the, the, uh, the cook it, but it'll last forever.